Dr. Mindy here, and all this week, I'm talking about longer fasts, specifically the 72-hour fast, or also known as the three-day water fast. So if you are new to my channel, I just wanna say welcome. I am a woman on a mission to get the world fasting. As you will see here on my channel, there is so much benefit to fasting. We will end chronic disease when we get people fasting. My goal is a million people here to my channel this year so everybody can hop on the fasting train and start to kill viruses. They start, start to slow aging, burn fat, all the things that we need to overcome chronic disease. So welcome. And those of you that share my video is out, you know how I feel about you. Love being on this journey with you. Okay. How often should you do a longer fast? So I have some very specific thoughts about this and maybe even a few protocols for you guys. So if you are doing Fast Training Week with us, I wanna let you know that Element is giving away free boxes this week. You can put companion guide in the comments and you will all the information on how you win a free box of Element is in there. So make sure you do that. And again, always, if you guys wanna join our next reset to learn how to use fasting to burn fat, come join us over in the Fat Burning Reset. Just put Fat Burning Reset in your comments and my team will send you a link. So the first thing that I wanna address is how long is a longer fast? I personally think a longer fast is anything more than 24 hours. Bottom line, so your 36 hour fast, your 48 hour, 72, we've taught a lot here on my channel. The second thing when you're looking at how often you should do these longer fasts is I wanna, I kinda throw it back on you, what is it you're trying to accomplish? So at 24 hours, we reset our gut microbiome. So if you have candida issues, parasites, SIBO, then you're gonna wanna do more 24 hour fasts. At 36 hours of fasting, we really start to go and turn up our fat burning capabilities. We start to go after stored insulin, stored glucose. So for those of you who feel really stuck with weight loss, make sure you go back and watch the videos I did on the 36 hour fast, because that's a great one for weight loss. 48 hours, we did that last training week, that is where we reset dopamine receptor sites and we create new dopamine receptor sites. So it's the happiness fast. So if you're feeling a little depressed, if you've lost your joy for life, for food, throwing a 48 hour fast in can really help amp up your body's ability to make and receive dopamine. And then the 72 hour fast, which is what we're doing for fast training week this week, is your ultimate immune reset. Research was done by Walter Longo. I talked about that in a video that I did last week. So go back and watch the video that says, why would you wanna do a 72 hour fast? I talk about his research in that. Okay, when I break down each one of these fasts, I want you to think about why, because the topic of this video is how often should you do these longer fasts? So I'm gonna go into how often you should do a 36 hour fast, a 48 hour fast, and a 72 hour fast. So the 36 hour fast, if you wanna lose weight, you're really on a mission to lose weight, you can pretty successfully, what we're seeing, you can do that fast once a week. Again, if you're gonna fast that much, you want to involve your doctor in this process. You, if you're like, well, I just kinda wanna lose weight, I'm doing a good job losing weight, maybe a little more weight loss would be good, then you could do that 36 hour fast once a month. But if you're really focused on weight loss, it needs to be 36 hour fast somewhere between once a week and once a month. When you guys see these really amazing changes people are getting in weight loss here on my channel, you will see that a lot of them have done the 36 hour fast. Those of you that love it for weight loss, please put it in the comments so others can benefit from that. Because uh, you guys have so much experience with this, it's really inspiring for those people that want to try a 36 hour fast. Now, what if you just wanna be metabolically flexible? You just wanna strengthen your ability to go from sugar burner to fat burner. Then you're good doing a 36 hour fast anywhere from once a quarter to once a year. It's not mandatory. If you can get metabolically flexible, drop weight, get into ketosis, get out of ketosis, end chronic disease by doing a 36 hour fast once, once a year, awesome. So it really depends on what you're trying to do the 48 hour fast, the happiness fast. How often should you do that? 
Well, if depression's a thing for you, if you're really feeling like you're not getting as much joy out of life, then I think the 48 hour fast should be done somewhere between once a month to once a quarter. Again, being safe, minding your numbers, involving your doctor in this process. If you're just looking for prevention, like is it, you know, I think it's pretty common to be like, well, is there a limit to happiness? Can I just keep getting happier and happier? Why don't I in improve my dopamine receptor sites right now? Then you can do it once every six months. Again, minding your numbers, involving your doctor. Now the 72 hour fast, I will tell you when I was coaching people one-on-one, -on -one, I had some patients with pretty advanced cancer that we were able to do a 72 hour fast once a week, but we were minding their numbers. I was watching them very closely. They were reporting those numbers back to me. So if you have an immediate crisis and you are looking to use fasting to really heal you, you can do it once a week, a three day water fast, but it has to be doctor supervised. I am not recommending it if you are not supervised by a doctor that is watching your numbers every single day. You also, if you're in an immediate crisis, you could do it once a month. Again, if you have cancer, if you have diabetes, pre-diabetic, please involve your doctor in this longer fast. But for prevention, if you just wanna prevent and keep your health at its best, once a year is just fine for a 72 hour fast. Now I wanna throw a couple of things of caution out here to you guys. First, women, with these longer fasts, remember that we should not be doing anything longer than even intermittent fasting, but definitely not a, these longer fasts. 36, 48 to 72 hours should never be done the week before your cycle. That is the hardest time to fast. It will destroy your hormo hormones. Please don't do that. Those of you that have a crisis, please involve your doctor. And in the longer fast, you need either a continuous glucose monitor or you need a keto mojo to know your numbers. It's that important once you go over 24 hours. So those are my thoughts. For years, I did one-on-one -on -one coaching with patients and this is how I use these protocols depending on what they were trying to do. I've seen fasting really heal. You're absolutely turning on the intelligence in your body. It is one of the greatest healing tools I have ever seen. Uh, and you need to be very smart about it. You need to measure it. You need to involve your doctor. And these were the protocols that I used um, that I think you will find really helpful. So as always, I hope that helps. And if you want more fasting with me, come join me in my next Fat Burner Reset. Just put Fat Burner in the comments and we'll send you a link.